My dad, because he worked for the post office for 35 years, he, uh, you know, his legs and his body is continuously giving out on him where, you know, from all the years of delivering mail. And just keep in mind, it wasn't the, you know, drive up to the mailbox, boom, there's the mail. This is in South Minneapolis where, you know, you got to walk door to door in the snow, everything, you know. He, uh... <laughs> It was hard work, man, because I used to be a meter reader, you know, reading meters where I had to go door to door. That was short-lived because the job ran out, but that was hard. I mean, cutting from neighbor, you know, from house to house in the snow uh, just to read the meters off the gas and electrical meters. <clears throat> but I actually, you know, when I was a kid, I remember vividly in snow helping my dad with his route. Like, he'd hand me some mail... <laughs> He'd say, run up there and put it in the box, you know. And, yeah, that was no fun. So I met a guy online, you know, through our Facebook lawn care groups. The guy had been in business, I don't know how many years, 30-something years, he said. Um, and we just got, you know, we just struck up a conversation. <laughs> it was the strangest thing I've ever... I mean, stuff like this does happen, but anytime it does, it's just one of those where you're like, wow, we're actually having a conversation with somebody I really don't know, you know. He was telling me where he lived, and then I told him where I grew up. So, like, boom, we hit it right off the bat, you know. Um, just yesterday, he's like, so when do you want to do lunch? Because... He recognizes a hot spot that, you know, I grew up on, which is Matt's Bar in South Minneapolis. You guys can go look it up. Home of the Juicy Lucy. You know, where I grew up. I love showing off where I grew up. It Honestly, my neighborhood, where I grew up, man, it shaped who I am today. I'm not going to sit there and deny that fact or tell you something different. You know, not the greatest neighborhood. It was pretty rough. Uh, got in a fight probably every other day with somebody. Somebody. Either talking stuff about my mother. <laughs> trying to, you know, mess with my sister. That type of thing. But, um, I don't know. It's one of those type of neighborhoods. I don't know if you guys have them around where you live. But, it's one of those neighborhoods where, you know, a lot of people don't want to go to. You know what I mean? Unless you're from there. You know what I mean? So now I, th I figured this would be like an awesome, awesome opportunity for myself to kind of pick the brain, you know, of a guy who's just literally been in business for as long as he has or had been. He retired, it looks like, 2014. But, you know, any opportunities you have like this, jump on it. Of course, do your research on people first, but also know that you can learn all the time like all the time like for me you know I hated reading growing up as a kid and you know geez all the way up to I was like I don't know whatever 2010 was how old I was then right <clears throat> uh, I think I was like 39 40 years old or something where I read more in one year around that time than I had ever read in my entire life combined. All because, all because I needed to get the phone ringing for Ring Lawn Care, right? So with that being said, you guys know the rest. I mean, I taught myself how to build WordPress websites, business websites, that, you know, now people hit me up for websites when my initial plan or goal is just to get the phone to ring, right? But now, you know, the word of mouth has traveled so much. People are hitting me up all the time, like, how do I do this? Can you build me this? If I do this, is this going to happen? You know, that type of thing. So, I mean, that's what reading has done for me. Yeah.